Well, Sarah Kaisak, Boston Reviews, and this is the author of Fat Kittens Rules the World. Can you say your name for me? Yeah, it's K.L. Goins. So you do go by K.L. Well, usually when people are talking to me, they can just say Kelly, but professionally and event, yeah. then it's always K.L. Yeah. yeah. So, what was it like as an author? This was published in 2003, am I yes. correct? Yeah. So, it's been almost 10 years yes. since it was out. Yeah. And when did this project or idea of making this into a film first? It actually happened right away, believe it or not. Oh, really? This has been a long journey. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Matthew read the, uh, Matthew Lillard read the audiobook, and he did such a fabulous job. In fact, I think the audiobook won um, an audiophile award. Oh, he reading. read the, he the read audio. It, yes. Oh, wow. He read the audiobook, um, and, like, he just did such a great job, and, um, and at that point, he just kind of fell in love with the book, and that was the first time that he optioned it, so uh, he had the option, and then it lapsed, and somebody else picked it up, and then he got it back, uh, they work together, actually. So, um, so yeah, he's been in on it from the very beginning. Yeah. So it's really amazing to like see this finally happen. Yeah. 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 So you said, that, I said last night at the Q and A um, that it really the actors were just like the characters, what you imagine. Yeah. So was there some sort of hesitation to maybe this isn't going to be like what it's supposed to be in, yeah. in my head? Uh, yes and no. Um, very minor. I mean, of course, there's always that fear that like you know my my biggest fear was um, that they might lose a piece of, like, it's a very layered story, so there's comedy, there's drama, there's, you know, there's sad parts, there's funny parts, you know, it's just, I felt like, what if they make it all comedy or all drama, and they kind of lose a little bit of that layering, but they didn't at all, which was great. Um, but but mostly, I didn't worry about it, because um, I really knew that Matthew got it. I mean, he just has been so passionate about this from the beginning, and um, he got it on a really personal level. I mean, he talks about the fact that he, you know, in high school, he was the fat kid, and he, you know, really felt like he was kind of saved by, you know, acting and punk rock music, and yeah. so it's like, I, when somebody has that kind of personal connection, you just don't worry as much about how they're going to handle yeah. the material. Yeah. Like, I never doubted. Yeah, that sort of connection, yeah. you feel like. Exactly. It's in good hands. Yeah, I, I never doubted that he would do a really good job. So, so were you yeah. really involved with the project at all, or did you kind of step back? Um, I was not involved with, like, the creative decisions. Um, I felt like they needed to really just be able to do what they needed to do and um, and in fact like if anything like I always was saying don't worry about me and like don't you know don't feel like you have to adapt it too literally like do what you need to do to make it come alive on the big screen um, but that said like Matthew's been wonderful about including me in every step of the way and really like keeping me updated about what's going on and yeah. you know so I've, I've known all the different parts of what's happening so yeah I've been involved in that way yeah because yeah. it, it seems like some authors don't want to be involved with their film adaptations and some really really yeah. do you know want to strike a balance yeah you know, I didn't want to be like the over involved author who's like every step of the way but on the other hand like that was my baby I mean yeah. I absolutely wanted to be involved as much as they wanted me to be yeah and I'm so thankful that they've really welcomed me you know as yeah. a part of this so yeah. um so are you hoping that maybe once this film comes out uh, maybe people start yeah. reading the book and yes. a new audience absolutely and everything. absolutely yeah I hope so um, the, the book had won a, a Prince Honor Award early on, and so there was you know, that initial um, push when there's you know all the excitement of it. But it has been out for ten years now. It still has a really good core, solid yeah. audience, um, so that's never changed. But it's really neat to think that this might infuse it with new excitement again. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited. I totally, am excited. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you so much yeah. for talking with us, yeah, and no uh, that can rule the world. Hopefully, it'll get uh, just pretty yeah, just come, uh, tell people to come to the Facebook page. Okay. Like us on Facebook. We got a movie, the FatKidRules.com on yeah. Facebook and, and Twitter as well. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so yeah, much. No problem.